so in previous lecture we have just seen the internal uh, structure of a step, stepper motor where there is a rotor part where we fix permanent magnet there is a stator part which is always static uh, and uh, with the application of electrical pulse we energize these stator windings and we make it uh, them as a north pole and south pole now we will just extend those discussions which we have concluded in last lecture so in stepper motor uh, generally these stepper motors are available in uh, four five six six terminal windings like this So this is A and B terminal and here this is a center tab common, this is common terminal for both uh, A side and B side binding and this is center tab. center tab common so stepper motors are available with uh, 1 2 3 4 and 5 6 with 6 wire connection and sometimes some manufacturers what they did they join together these two common terminal and from here they just extended one common line one common line so this is common now so in this case it is a uh, five wire step motor so both the common terminals are joined together and one uh, common uh, common terminal has been taken up so in this way these type of internal binding arrangement is there so the binding will be like this this is A Here it is common. We can we call it as common one. So the windings which we just you now drawn like this A, B and common. So this A, B and this common one and C, D. This is common to so C this D and here it is common to and internally these both common one and common two are joined and extended as a one common terminal so it is take it out and we call it as one common term in this way. so now this is a from five wire stepper motor
Now, what we will do, we will connect a plus 5 volt to a common terminal. So, we will connect plus 5 volt to a common terminal. Now, now to rotate a stepper motor, so each stepper motor is available with some specific step angle. So, there is a term called as step angle. So, step angle is that amount of uh, angle which a stepper motor moves in one single step. So, suppose a stepper motor is having a step angle of 30 degree. Then what will happen? That motor will rotate. Suppose this is a stepper motor uh, shaft position. So, it will rotate in one step 30 degree. If you will apply second uh, uh, pulse sequence, then it will rotate again 30 degree. And if the step angle is 15 degree, then it will in one step it will rotate only 15 degree like that. So with this step angle, we can control the precise movement of the stepper motor. Now to rotate this stepper motor, there are two type of sequences which we can apply. Uh, step sequence, we call it as step sequence. One, there, so there are two type of step sequence which we can apply to a stepper motor for its movement. One is four step sequence. And second is eight step sequence. Now, in case of four step sequence, suppose these are the wires A, B, C, and D. These are the windings A, B, C, D. So, we will apply a particular type of fixed sequence and sequence is like this A winding will have a value 1 so these are binary value 1 indicates plus 5 volt then 0 0 1 this is first one sequence one step then now rotate this number right side so what will happen? This one will come at this position. This zero will come at this position. This zero will come at this position. And this one will be rotated to MSB position. So in this way we have rotated it by right side one bit. So this is your first step. This is our second step. Then there will be third step. So again now, the second step you rotate it right side by one bit. So this one will come here. This one will come at this full bit position. This zero will come at this zero position, this position, and this zero will be rotated to MSB. This is our third step sequence. Then fourth step is again rotate it in right side. So uh, this zero will come at this position. This one will come at this position, and this one will come at one. This one will come at this position. So here it is one. This one will come at this position, and this zero will come at MSB position. So these are four step sequence. So, if our stepper motor is of a step angle 30 degree, then with each step, 
stepper motor will rotate 30 degree. With this step number 1, it will rotate 30 degree. If we apply second step, then again it will rotate 30 degree. Then with this step, it will rotate another 30 degree. And with this step, it will rotate another 30 degree. So with the application of these four steps, so if step angle is equal to 30 degree, then four steps will rotate motor by 4 into 30 degrees so that is 120 degree so motor will rotate 100 120 degree in these four steps and suppose you want to rotate the motor with one complete rotation in one complete rotation and uh, uh, motor has to rotate total one 300 360 degree right but in these one four steps they rotate 120 degree so for the rotation of all this 360 degree this type of sequence three sequence we have to apply then motor will rotate completely 360 degree if you want the motor should rotate uh, 150 degree in suppose there is some application we are developing some arm of a robot and the application is that robot will pick this duster from here and it will it has to it has to, it has to place this duster at 150 degree up, up at the top side at the above of this duster there is one place so and that place is at 150 degree from this particular location so if i rotate the motor by 150 degree then it will come to this place and robot will uh, drop this duster here so to control that precise 150 degree movement what we have to do if we are having a motor of a step angle 30 degree with these four sequence it will rotate 120 degree after this we will apply another this step so there should be repetition once this step is over then it should go to again first step should be applied then second third fourth so now with four step it will rotate 120 degree and with additional first step it will rotate another 30 degree so total now 150 degree has been completed so here we will stop giving the sequence to the stepper motor so now we have to follow these sequence you can start with any of the sequence but uh, after starting of any of the sequence remaining sequence should follow the same pattern for example, for example uh, if we have started with this suppose this is our first step 0 1 1 0 this is our first step so the next step will be this 0 0 1 1 this is our this will be our second step and third step will be 1 uh, this one will come here 0 0 1 and fourth step will be 1 1 0 0 so now yes 1 1 0 0 then after this again this step will be repeated so you can start with any of the step but you have to follow the sequence should be same now here what we will do suppose we have applied this first step first right so if we apply first step then uh, here I will write step first right in step first one degrees plus five volt so at the a terminal we have applied plus five volt now you just see this is plus five volt and the common terminal is also plus five volt so it looks like this a this is common and plus five volt this is plus five volt both are at same potential so there is no current flow in this winding so if there is no current flow so no electromagnet will form 
So in first case for A, I will write it is in off position. Right? For B, I will write here. Uh, first is there. Now for B, the sequence is B is 0. So B is 0. So now you see if B is 0, let us assume uh, this is B. Right? This is B and it is 0. And common is same plus 5 volt. So now what will happen? Current will flow in this way. Current will flow from common to B terminal. It will flow in this way. It will flow in this way. So if suppose if this is a winding and current flow is like this. And current flow is like this. So the end of the winding at which current is entering will become north pole and that end of the winding from where current is leaving out that will become south pole. So if the current movement is this, so now in this case I represent this binding like this, right? this is B. So now due to this current movement, this will become north pole and this will become south pole. B terminal will become south pole. Now we see this C binding under first step. The C is 0, right? So C is 0. If C is 0, common terminal is plus 5 volt. So current connection will be like this, right? So it will on and the like this. This is C terminal. So current is entering here. So this will become north pole and this will become south. And for D terminal, 1 is the input sequence, 1. So here 1 is plus 5 volt, common is also plus 5 volt. So this is under off condition. This is off condition. So this winding and this winding will on. This is the direction of north pole and south pole and north pole and south pole in step 1. Now if we apply step 2, then A is 1, 1 means off. So for step 2, also A is off. For B, now B is 1. So if we apply 1 means there is no magnet, the magnetic field. So this is off. C is 0. Now C is 0. So in second step, C is 0 means again it will energize like this C and north pole south pole. And in case of D binding, the input is 0. If input is 0, then it will energize and this is D terminal and current connection will be like this. So north pole, south pole. Now in third step, this is third step. Now A is 0. Now if A is 0, so if A is 0, then current conduction will be like this. So there is a magnetic effect. This is A terminal. So this is north pole and south pole because current is flowing. Current is flowing. Current is entering in this terminal. Right? So this is north pole and here it is south pole. So the terminal where current enters, it will become north pole. <coughs> right. And for B, in the third step, B is 1. So in the third step, B will remain off. Uh, so this is third step. And C is 1. So if C is 1, so in the third step, C is off. And third step for D, 0. It is on. It is on like this. South and north. Now, in the fourth step, the, this is fourth step, 0, 0, 1, 1. A is 0. So in fourth step, this is common, plus 5. 
So in fourth step, A is zero. So again, it will energize and magnet will be formed south and north direction. In fourth step, B is also energized, and again you will find north south with this B terminal, and C and D are off in the fourth step. So this is off and D is off. So by giving a proper sequence, we what we are doing, we are producing a magnetic field over the armature windings, right? If we change the sequence, then the effect will be magnetic effect will be changed. So this is about the uh, four-step sequence. There is another sequence which is eight step sequence. Now in case of eight step sequence, what will happen? Suppose, suppose our, uh, there will be total eight step and let us assume our uh, motor step size is uh, 30 degree. So in four step sequence, each step will rotate the motor by, six, by 30 degree. And finally with the four step, motor will rotate 120 degree. But to increase the resolution, right? Motor is same with the step angle 30 degree. But now what I want, I want more resolution. That with one step, motor should rotate only 15 degree. So is it possible? So now the two, two possibilities. Either you go and go in the market and purchase another stepper motor with uh, step angle 15 degree. But if you don't want to use this option, with the same 30 degree step angle, this is step angle. With the same 30 degree step angle stepper motor, we want to rotate it with each step a 15 degree only. So that is possible. That is possible with 8 step. So in each step, it will rotate 15 degree. And since there are total 8 steps, so in 8 steps, how much it is? It is 120 degree. So again with the 8 step sequence, after 8 step motor will complete 120 degree rotation. But here the resolution is more. With each step it will rotate 15 degree only. So the sequence of 8 step, so 8 step sequence. 8 step sequence, first you write the sequence of 4 steps as it is. 1, 0, 0, 1. Here. A, B, C, D. Then give one space. Then 1, 1, 0, 0. Then 0, 1, 1, 0. And 0, 0, 1, 1. These are four steps. 1, 1, 0, 0. 1, sorry, 1, 0, 0, 1. Then 1, 1, 0, 0. This is 1, 1, 0, 0. Second step. 0, 1, 1, 0, third step 0, 1, 1, 0, and fourth step 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. Now what you do, you start with another sequence here with only single one. And now you rotate this right side, means bring this one here, 0, 1, 0, 0. Rotate this right side, 0, 0, 1, 0. Rotate this right side. 0, 0, 0, 1. So how many sequence? Step number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. These are the 8 steps. So you can start with any step, but remaining steps should remain same. Suppose you, you have started with this is now here with these 8 steps, with this step, motor will rotate. 15 degree. With this, another 15 degree. With this, another 15 degree. Like this, it will rotate. With each step, 15 degree. In total, it will rotate down 120 degree. So, but the resolution is more now. So, you can start with any sequence. Suppose you have started with this sequence. That is 0, 0, 1, 0. A, B, C, D. So, this is your first uh, step. So, your next step should be this. Then this. Then this. Then this. In this way. Right? So from here, 
you have completed this step after this again you have to go back to first step so these are the two steps now in next lecture uh, we will discuss how to write a program uh, with these uh, steps so that your motor should rotate